And John Sawat used to call our monastery a, a quiet corner. It's a place where you can get away from your ordinary, everyday concerns, your everyday entanglements, and just face down your mind on its own. Now you find, of course, that you bring a lot along with you. It's possible to have physical seclusion and yet, yet not have mental seclusion. Mental seclusion is when you're constantly chattering to yourself inside, and particularly with your cravings. You want this, you want that. So what we're trying to do here is put aside some of those cravings, focus just on being with the breath in and of itself, the body in and of itself. And as for all your other mental baggage, just put it aside, put it down. You don't need to carry it in here. This way the mind has this, a real sense of freedom. We tend to think we find our freedom by following our cravings, but that's not the case. The freedom of the mind is when the mind is not weighed down by concerns. So you start by concerning yourself with just one thing, being at home with the breath, being at ease with the breath. And let everything else fall away. And then as the mind picks up other things, you, you're more sensitive to it. You see what's going on. And of course there are some things the mind has to pick up. We do have our responsibilities in the world. But you want to put yourself in a position where you can decide what you're going to pick up and what you're going to put down, and not just take on everything as it comes. There's a difference between things that are important and things that are pressing, and you have to learn how not to give in to the things that are pressing and focus instead on the things that are really important. And having some time away from all of that helps get you a, give you a better perspective so you can make the distinction more clearly. So while you're here, try to develop this skill of not taking on anything that you don't have to. When you're sitting here with your eyes closed, nothing else going on, there's very little that you have to take on. So it becomes a skill. Then when you leave this quiet corner, you at least have a little bit of a quiet corner inside yourself that you can take wherever you go. You can't take the monastery, but you can take the skills you've developed here. To learn how to develop the skill of whatever comes in the mind, if it's not important, you put it aside. If it's not relevant to what you're doing right now, i.e. trying to get the mind concentrated, you put it aside. Learn how to drop these things even when they're incomplete, even when they seem to be crying out for attention. The question is, are they really crying out? Is there another part of you crying out who wants to pick them up? Learn how to make these distinctions, and you find that you can sort through a lot of the issues in your life a lot more clearly. But it's a skill that's, to, that's important here. The, the quiet corner of the monastery is here to help you find this quiet corner in your mind, learn how to maintain it so that even when you go out into the hurly-burly of the world, you still got that quiet corner inside.